Final Scratch, or DJ Ponthery, is arguably one of the most liked background characters from My Little Pony, which is reasonable since her design is very unique compared to everyone else, and also because she barely appears in the show, meaning that people will always want to see more of her. However, despite her popularity, we never hear her speak in the show. At least the other background ponies at least get a couple lines throughout the show, but when Vinyl's in the spotlight, she barely even opens her mouth, let alone speaks. So what's the deal with this? Why doesn't she talk? Is it because she's mute and can't talk, or is it that she just chooses not to talk? Well, let's find out. But first, some background context. The most focus we get on Vinyl in the actual series is in the season 5 episode Slice of Life, where we get a glimpse into what her home life is like. She appears to share a house with Octavia, who seems to be able to understand Vinyl without her saying anything. But we'll come back to this later. For now, I'd like to discuss the music to my ears music video. Now, before I get a bunch of comments saying that Equestria Girls isn't canon to the main series, that's a discussion for a different video in the future. So for now, let's just count Equestria Girls as a reliable source. In music to my ears, we follow Vinyl around and we see that she makes gestures with her hands rather than speaking like a normal person. This would mean that the writers were purposefully going out of their way to make sure she doesn't talk. For example, if the whole show went without this random incidental pony not saying a single word, nobody would really bat an eye, but it's just the fact that the show went out of its way to make it clear that Vinyl doesn't talk. There is a couple theories as to why, so let's go through them and think about each one. The most popular theory is how Vinyl was given a very distinct and unique voice by Noah King in fan animations, and it would have felt very off if Vinyl's voice in the show was different. Oh, nah, nah, man, she's cool. Honestly, this might be a factor in the reason as to why Vinyl has no voice lines in the show, since I'm sure that there would have been a lot of angry fans of the show if she was given a different voice, but that still doesn't answer the real question, which is whether Vinyl is canonically mute or not. Just because she wasn't given a voice for whatever reason, that does not necessarily give us a strong sight to whatever the answer is. So, let's step back into the show for a second. In Slice of Life, Vinyl doesn't speak, yet Octavia seems to be able to communicate with her. This is probably because they're housemates and Octavia just knows Vinyl well enough to know what she's thinking. But, once again, this doesn't really answer anything. Then I thought, okay, maybe it's not that she doesn't speak, it's just that she doesn't know how to speak. For instance, take a look at these clips and notice how others are talking while she's just listening to music. We aim to please, so before we hand out our tent assignments, we'd like to hear from all of you! Maybe she just doesn't know how to communicate with words, because she doesn't even know what language they're speaking in. Okay, obviously it's not that because she does understand what others are saying, it's just that I was looking for any more evidence for one case or another, and the fact that she listens to music while other people are talking to her just stuck out to me. Anyways, because she doesn't talk in the show, nor Equestria Girls, I had to resort to a much more desperate approach. The comics. Now, I know that people get pretty heated over whether Equestria Girls is canon or not, and I'm pretty sure it's all the more heated when it comes to debating whether the comics are canon or not, since they have different writers and all that stuff. But the official answer seems to be that the comics are canon until proven otherwise in the show, or are contradicted by the show. So in the comics themselves, it mostly seems to be the same deal as the show, where she doesn't say anything, with Octavia doing all the talking for them. However, if we count this cover page, I suppose that does answer the question, since she's talking here. But and the problem is, if we're to take the cover of this comic as a canon to the show, by that logic we kind of have to accept the fact that these 10 ponies were lined up like this to take a picture for whatever reason as canon as well. Plus, Vinyl's eyes are red here, when in reality they're magenta, so I don't think this would really count as evidence. Let's look deeper. She says something here, so technically that should prove that she can talk, but uh, let's go back to that statement earlier where the comics are only canon if they're not contradicted by the show. So we have to ask whether or not the fact that she talks in the comics has been contradicted by the show, which is like trying to disprove a negative. Just because we never hear her talk in the show doesn't mean she doesn't talk off screen. It just means that she doesn't speak whenever the camera happens to be pointed at her. So this is honestly kind of a dead end. So. At this point in my research, I was pretty stumped. Until I decided to put Legend of Everfree on in the background again, and clearly she's talking to Fluttershy here. Not using hand signals, nor hoof signals, nor eye contact, her mouth is physically opening and closing here. So even though we don't hear her voice, this clearly means that she isn't mute. Unless if you want to argue that what we're seeing here is Fluttershy showing off the fact that she's super good at reading lips. But if that's the argument you want to make, go ahead. But it's up to you to prove to me that Fluttershy is good at lip reading or whatever. But then again, maybe it's not as simple as that. Here's a clip of M.A. Larson talking about his thought process of writing the episode Slice of Life. Okay, final scratch. No boys. Yes. So, uh, leave some to the imagination. Well, I didn't actually. The, my first draft she talked. Uh, really? Yes, because I didn't know that she wasn't supposed to talk. You know, I have no idea what he meant here by she isn't supposed to talk. That could mean she's mute, so she isn't supposed to talk, or her not talking is the status quo, and that's why she's not supposed to talk. I don't know, make of this what you will, honestly. In conclusion, uh, I don't think there is a conclusion, but I think that's okay. Surely if the show was about Vinyl, or if she was a more prominent character, we would guaranteed get a few jokes about others not understanding what she's trying to convey since she doesn't talk. But the show isn't about her, so I think this is just one of those things where we have to accept the fact that things work the way they work, and all we can do is guess. 
And also, uh, this is totally not me recording this at 3 a.m. just so I can get this video up by a self-imposed deadline, but I would like to give a huge thanks to Tired Horse Studios for drawing my new character stills. She's a pretty cool person and also a great artist, so feel free to go and check out her DeviantArt, I'll leave a link in the description. And also, also, let me know down in the comments what you think is the reason for Vinyl not talking. Do you think she's mute? Do you think she just doesn't want to talk? I don't know. Feel free to bring up any points that I may have missed because I'm sure that I look past some things that you guys wanted me to talk about. And lastly, thank you guys so much for 1,000 subscribers. I don't know how we got here from just two videos videos, but uh, you guys are awesome. I'm so grateful that you guys are here to watch my stuff. And I see a lot of you guys commenting about how you're glad that the brony fandom is coming back <laughs> or whatever. Um, so yeah, uh, feel free to subscribe and uh, there will be a lot more pony stuff to come. Thanks for watching.